Hi, and welcome to Jammerhook. Today I'm going to be introducing a brand new feature called the Jammerhook Sound Matcher, a new tool that allows you to take any song from YouTube or a direct audio URL and get AI suggested matches for them directly on Jammerhook's web portal. The Sound Matcher can analyze any song given to it and instantly suggest complementary loops which you can use to either remix the original track or recreate a piece of music with a similar sound easily. Let's see how it works. So we're going to try and recreate a track like Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. I'm just going to copy the link and paste it into the Sound Matcher. If you go to vst.jammerhook.com slash sounds, you can see the Sound Matcher tool on the right. You can also choose to upload your own loop, but we'll be going with the YouTube matching feature right now. I'll paste in the URL. Now this part is interesting. Our tool will analyze only the parts that you ask it to, meaning that you can get very diverse results just by using different bits of the same song. I'm going to set my starting point at 16 seconds because that's where the song kicks in and it will also suggest a length of 8 seconds. Let's see what that gets us. You'll probably see that some of these matches sound like they're straight out of the original track, whereas others are a bit different, but complementary nonetheless. That's the AI doing its part to give you more diversity in the samples that you get to choose from. We can now add the ones that we like to our favourites and have them show up in our plugins new favourites tab. It's a great way to audition your sounds before buying them. I'm just going to go down the list and select a few that I like and add them to my favourites. That synth sounds very similar to the one in the track, so I'm going to add that one. And... I like the sound of that pad, so we'll add this one to our favourites as well by clicking the hearts button on the right. We can also find the favourites well on the side over here on the website if you want to quickly audition them. Now let's switch over to our DAW. Today we're using Ableton, but you can use whichever one you like. So all the sounds I've added from the web portal are now here in the favourites tab. I can click on them in preview to see how they sound. And you can buy them straight here within the plugin. As you can see, I've bought all of these loops, and what I'll do is I'll use the six buttons next to the name to drag the file into my project. So all the sounds that I've added from the web portal now here, and you can see how easy it is to add it to your projects. Yeah, I've already dragged some samples in and edited them a little bit. This is how it sounds so far, only using loops from Jammerhook. To make the next section of the track, we can just match this with the plugin. And it gives us a bunch of other results. Or we can use the web sound matcher on another part of Blinding Lights. Let's take the chorus from Blinding Lights for about one minute into the track. As you can see, the results are different. And this gives me a bunch of new sounds to work with for my track. You can do this as many times as you want, with however many sections your reference song has, so there's an infinite number of possibilities here. Pretty cool, right? That's everything for today. I look forward to hearing what you guys can do with our new tool. With all this extra inspiration, at the click of a button, you can wave goodbye to writer's block. Thank you for joining me today. Now get out there and get creating.